Stop trolling the Baltimore Ravens NFL. Well, more specifically, PFF Fantasy. Why do y'all do stuff like Why y'all playing games like this with our guys? The question from PFF Fantasy. It said, choose your tight end duo. Now, look, off rip, I, I think most people already know, like, you put Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely against whoever. Taking Mark Andrews and Likely, both of them number one tight ends. Both of them could do that, th but we still got to ask for educational purposes. The question was, choose your tight end duo. Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely of the Baltimore Ravens versus Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer of the Las Vegas Raiders. Come on now, man. <laughs> like, ain't no offense to those guys. I'm sure they're going to do their thing and they're going to do a good job of it, but come on now, man. Really? Really? Like, what? Why? What's the reasoning behind this? Who and who's choosing the other guys? Again, no offense to them, cause it, they they in the league for a reason. They're gonna do their thing, but no, man. And, and I get the hype for the rookie to this thing over at what Georgia and, and Michael May. Michael May he's straight too, but these guys are proven. Mark Andrews, he been doing his thing in the league. For ye ever since 2018. Mark Andrews been killing it ever since 2018. He does this. This is his league. Well, no, it's still Travis Kelsey league of tight end. But Mark Andrews is one of them guys, man. Top three tight end. You could make a case for top two. Depending on how you look at Kittle. I know most let's go uh, Kelsey, Kittle, and Andrews. But, hey. You could mess around and do Kelsey Andrews, and I don't care after that. You really could. But with Mark Andrews, he is a well-established, proven playmaker at the tight end position. He's he's just like a, a, a swole wide receiver pretty much. And over the years, his blocking has certainly improved a lot. He's gotten more physical when it comes to that, better at holding up blocks. And with him being Lamar Jackson's favorite target, you know he's going to get his opportunities. You know he's going to get his chances. You know he is going to get the passes thrown his way each and every single game. So Mark Andrews, like, he obviously clears this list by far. Clears the other two by far. But then I say I like the two. And it's because it says choose your tight end duo. It's a duo. So it's two. So Isaiah Likely, like, did you not see enough? When Mark Andrews went down, a lot of Ravens fans were like, oh, hey, what's going on, man? We, oh, no. Because we were scared. We were like, man, Mark Andrews, that's our guy. He went down in that Bengals game. We were like, oh, this is terrible. Because it was terrible. Because you never want to see anybody get hurt, especially the way that that looked. Because Mark Andrews, when he first got hurt, he went down. Then he got up. We were like, oh, yeah, Mark Andrews. But then he went down again. So, oh, no. But Isaiah Likely showed while Mark Andrews was out, Isaiah Likely said, hey, I can play. I got this. I can do this. I was made for this. I'm in the NFL for a reason. And we started to see all that preseason stuff from Isaiah Likely from two preseasons ago. Where we was all going crazy over him. He was making all these crazy plays and whatnot. We saw that Isaiah Likely but in regular season action last year. And he showed like, yeah, I'm one of them guys too. So for PFF to just, again, just troll the Ravens like this with this choose your tight end duo, the Ravens versus the Raiders, like, again, come on now. Now, one thing I will say, and of course the Raiders, they haven't been able to prove this yet because Brock Bowles is a rookie, but... With the Baltimore Ravens, what we do want to see from their tight ends is them be able to put it all on the field together at the same time. For them both to be able to get involved in the game plan in the same games because they could create so many mismatches. They could just create so many opportunities. Even times when they wouldn't be getting the ball. They can just have so many eyes on them that takes away from eyes being on other players because you got to watch for Mark Andrews. Oh, Lamar like throwing to him. You got to watch for Isaiah Likely. Lamar Jackson, he find a way to get him the ball. It's over too. 
but they can disguise what the offense is doing. You see both of them tight ends come on the field. You might automatically think, oh, they're running the ball. There's Derrick Henry, too. Nope, and they end up passing. Or you have both of them tight ends on the field, and you disguise the, the offense enough, the defense like, oh, they're passing the ball, but those two put their hand in the dirt and knock somebody back. So that, that's what we want to see from Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely, them putting it together. And that's on Lamar Jackson. That's on Todd Monk, and that's on John Harbaugh. That's on everybody to really just make it happen. But if they make that happen, lists like these, <laughs> I mean, already, even though they haven't made it happen yet, lists like these will be null and void.